Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on following a hyperlink using a command button with Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here on this Excel worksheet a green rectangle that I have linked to a user form. So if I click this rectangle, I get this blank user form. I've named this user form main form. And I did this by configuring a subroutine behind this green rectangle. So if I right click and go down to assign macro, I have a subroutine here, sheet one dot open form. So if I move over to the code view, Alt F11, you can see I have this subroutine open form and it just has one line of code, main dot show. Main is the name of this blank user form. So I'm going to place a command button on this user form and then write some code so that when this command button is clicked, it'll take you to a specified URL. In this case, I'm going to use the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So if I move to the toolbox and I select command button, drag it onto this user form, make it a bit larger, and I'll double click this. I have command button one click. I have this click event set up. And I'm going to paste a subroutine here that I'm going to call from this click event. So I've named this subroutine follow link. And first I declare str as string, this variable str. And I'm going to set str to equal the link that I want to follow. So in this case, bls.gov, Bureau of Labor Statistics. Then I have on error go to message, and then this line of code, active workbook.follow hyperlink address, colon, equal sign, and then the variable str, comma, new window, colon, equal sign, true. So if this is successful with no error, it's going to exit the subroutine. Otherwise, it's going to go to message and bring up this message box. So now I just need to call this subroutine in this click event up here for the command button. So this will be call and then the name of the subroutine, in this case, follow link. Call follow link. So if I move back to the worksheet, click on the screen rectangle, bring up main form, and click on the command button, it brings me to the Bureau of Labor Statistics website. So what about a situation where you don't want to open a website, however you want to navigate to a worksheet instead? So instead of going outside of Excel and bringing up a website like that one, you just want to bring up this worksheet storage. It just has this one cell populated storage worksheet. I'm going to go back to the code view. And I'm going to create a subroutine that will navigate to that storage worksheet. I'll select it. So it'll be sub open WS for worksheet. And I'll just use one line of code here. And that'll be sheets and then in quotation marks the name storage name of the worksheet dot select so if I move back to this click event for command button so in this subroutine I'm going to delete the follow link subroutine and call open worksheet I'll put that in And now going back to the data worksheet, open the user form, click the command button, and it brings up the storage worksheet. So it navigates to this sheet instead of going to a website. So you can use both methods. If you want to have this user form automatically close, so you navigate to this worksheet and you want this to 
closed so you can then use this worksheet without having to close it manually. I can go back here to the command button one quick event and after call open worksheet add one line of code which is load and then me. So if I move back to the worksheet and then move over to data again open the user form click the command button now it selects this storage worksheet and closes the user form automatically. I hope you found this video on following a hyperlink using Excel VBA to be useful and thanks for watching.